Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to another Dopely Discusses. We are going to be talking about Doja Cat being canceled slash quitting music for, I guess, not showing enough love to the people of the community or the area uh, in Brazil or wherever where she had to cancel a show due to natural... Uh, you know, weather or disaster or whatever the fuck. It was a goddamn hurricane or some, some shit going on out there, right? I don't fucking know. But I guess fans were upset that she did not, you know, they brought up Miley Cyrus and she made a video talking about how she loves them all and wishes she could be there, which is nice, right? That's a nice gesture. They brought up Doja's old tweets that, that showed... A similar situation where a show was canceled and she was like, you know, I love you guys. I'm so sorry. And, you know, we'll do this next year or whatever. So I guess there was none of that and people were upset and they were like pissed. And I get, I don't know. I mean, they, and I guess after the canceled show, fans went to her um, hotel hoping she'd come out and see them, but she didn't. And it, you know. It's just my feelings are celebrities don't owe their fans anything. You know, they're not trained monkeys that need to perform for you. And, you know, they don't force you to obsess and worship them, right? That's on you. If you go to the, her hotel expecting her to come down, you can't really be upset if she doesn't, right? You got to go there with the knowledge of, you know, maybe she was not going to come out. You know, I mean, she doesn't owe you anything. You know, you can be like, oh, well, she, they wouldn't be famous if it wasn't for us. And it's like, okay, but it's like, again, they're not forcing you. So the fact that I, I, I didn't know anything about this, I pulled up Twitter and I saw some Doja Cat trending and it was like talking about Doja Cat being canceled. I said, oh shit, for what? And then for it to be this, I was like, man, I understand her fi fucking kind of, you know, being up in her feelings and saying she's going to quit and shit. Um, cause y'all were being, whoever was hating on her was being, that's just fucking ridiculous. It's like, imagine being that famous where you have that much, that many people voicing their opinion on you. And like half of it, it's always going to be, half people are always going to hate you for no reason, you know? And of course that's probably going to bother you more so than, the half that's loves you right so it's gonna weigh on you a little bit so it sucks for famous people but you're not allowed to feel bad for famous people because they have all the money in the world right i don't get that either but whatever so i just thought that was crazy i'm like dude people are i understand why she wanted to quit and shit but it seems like she's back and it seemed like she would kind of address those tweets and kind of said that you know because she tweeted i'm not sorry but then she came back and said i am sorry you know so and I don't think it's more like, you know, her trying to just say, trying to fix the backlash. I really think she was just in her feelings, right? And pissed off at getting all this back backlash in the first place. So then she said, I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. Which I, which I totally agree with her. You know what I mean? And she said, she commented, I ain't taking pictures or signing anything after this. And I, I was fine with that, dude. I'm cool with that. Whichever way she wants to go, she wants to apologize and be like, you know, I was in my feelings. I went on a... Who hasn't been in their feelings and going on a fucking Twitter or a Facebook post rant and everyone's like, yo, bro, you good? And you're like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> a little drunk, a little fucking in my feelings. No big deal, dude. It happens to the best of us. So, um, yeah. That's my thoughts on the thing. Um, I just thought it was wild. Glad she's back, I guess, you know. But it's, it reminded me of the Dave Grohl where all those, like, you know, fully grown adults, men, mostly men, I think. And we're like, Dave, please, can we get a signature? Dave, can we get an autograph or a picture or anything? Like begging this man. I'm like, this shit was sad. And then, I, I mean, if you haven't seen the video, look that shit up because it's hilarious. He's like, guys, here's the other thing. See ya. And he just dips off. And it's like the, so cartoony and hilarious. And it's like, that's how I feel about it. It's like, man, y'all, like you brought this on yourself. Like, you guys are like, I mean, I understand going to a show and then getting rained out and being upset, but I would never be upset with the artist, you know? And I mean, especially never, I would never be upset with the artist and I would never be like, oh, he, check his Twitter and be like, he didn't make a video saying how much he wish he could have partied with us and all this. Like, I'm mad now. And now I want to cancel him. Like, that's ridiculous. That's insane to me. Like, I would... You know, I would just be like, that fucking sucks, you know?
probably be pissed at Live Nation because they wouldn't give me a fucking refund or some shit. I don't know. So it's just wild to me that, like, people are so entitled these days and just ridiculous and ridiculous online and ridiculous with the canceling and the bullying, but against, but uh, against bullying, but they also bully. And it's very confusing times we live in these days, man. People trying to navigate these politically correct waters, I guess, is what it is, and the and the two parties being so split, I get like that's what it seems like. It all goes back to for me. It's just people being brainwashed and all culted up and just not thinking for themselves and not being critical thinkers. It's like, come on now, can we can we not like can we not be ridiculous for fucking five fucking minutes that we gotta cancel Doja Cat because it fucking goddamn tsunami was gonna come in and kill us all. A fucking hurricane, tornado, whatever the fuck it was. Like, what is going on here? We just want, we just like, people just like to be pissed. You know what I'm saying? People just like to be pissed off. And I don't get that because I fucking love to be happy. You know? I don't get it. Smile more. Hit the like, share, follow, subscribe, turn on notifications. Y'all know what to do by now. It's 2022. Social media has been out for like goddamn almost 20 years, whatever. Uh, yeah, peace out. Enjoy it. Uh, be nice to each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't bully Doja Cat, dude. Doja Cat's one of the fucking coolest artists out right now. There, you know, there's always only a few artists that have that soul, you know what I mean? That have that passion and the commitment and just, you know, like just the vibe, you know what I mean? Like a true artistry, not like this, like six nine bullshit or something, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Peace out. Do all the shit I said just a second ago. That's the end of the fucking dopely discuss. So we're keeping this one even shorter than usual.